thank you dr mishra dr vibhakar my good friend and dr rajneesh uh, for this introduction and uh, i would like to thank dr banshi sabu for inv- inviting me i was i'm so sorry that i could not make it to amdavad uh, but definitely next time we should be i should be able to go so in the next 10 minutes i am going to talk to you on uh, a very important subject and that is how in india we can develop footwear for people with diabetes and i'm going to share with you uh, my experience in chennai so this was a paper which we published in diabetes care in 2006 so people from rural india uh, do have a lot of amputations compared to people from urban india and we found that it was barefoot walking and improper footwear which was the cause for the greater amputation of people from the rural area so we recognized the need for footwear which is which is available at an affordable cost uh, at in india so that's the that's the basis for starting this uh, foot clinic and footwear manufacturer in chennai and it was with the aim of preventing amputation many people in india were wearing this sort of footwear which is very cheap you get it for 100 rupees and it invariably leads to problems like these and you can see that there's no counter for the footwear so these are chappals so these are called chappals and is very popular in india So, 1991, because we found that a lot of rural area people were getting amputations due to improper footwear, we started the work on footwear, and we started looking at materials apart from microcellular rubber. So, you can see that this is PU foam and Eva sole, and I started using the services of local shoemakers. who were available in the streets to make footwear soon i joined hands with the central leather research institute and we did some studies the first we saw that along with the clri we found that customized orthoses will cut down the healing time so we were able to show along with colleagues from the central leather research institute that the foot ulcers will heal faster if you give customized orthoses so this was a study which opened our eyes to show that it's possible to prevent amputations and heal ulcers in india we then used an anthropometric survey because we needed to know the foot sizes of people with diabetes so we want to stand we wanted to standardize the foot sizes of people with diabetic foot ulcer and we did an anthropometric survey and we used a 3d laser foot scanner and published this paper where we looked at foot sizes in india because we had to make the last and so on to make the footwear we then went on to some more sophisticated methods like qfd or tris and you, you can see what is qfd here uh, we used the higher methods qfd looks at quality function deployment which is a quantitative quantitative tool which aims at giving the top most priority to the needs of the customers so we used some higher software and we looked at improving the design of therapeutic footwear with this knowledge we developed footwear for people with low risk as you heard from manisha iwgdf class 1 just high risk feet they have the sort of eva sole and uh, and you can see the eva sole and uh, the counter and the upper which is adjustable uh, through a uh, velcro in this velcro and uh, you can see that it's very important to have a footwear for people with high risk feet or neuropathy who have not yet ulcerated so this was the ladies model this was a men's model and in people who had past history of ulcers we developed footwear 
which was developed a little more sophisticated way, which I'll show you in the next eight minutes. So these were footwear which were developed by CLRI and our institute. We looked at the effectiveness of the different types of footwear insoles, and we published a study in diabetes care. And we found that those who are using the therapeutic footwear, using the methods which I told you just now, showed lower foot pressure. And also we found that the occurrence of new lesion was significantly uh, lower in patients who used 4%, who used the customized insole and therapeutic footwear. People who used the same footwear like Hawaii chapels and so on had a much higher prevalence of new lesions. Then we moved on to people who are not accepting the designs. So we moved on to another institute called the Central Footwear Technical Institute. The CLRI and the CFT are both in Chennai and we were fortunate that both of them cooperated and worked with us. So the students of CFTI developed <clears throat> some stylish footwear and you can see that uh, we have still developed more models now. This is an old slide. So this is for people who have not yet ulcerated, who have a high risk feet or uh, who do not have even lops, who have not yet ulcerated and have normal sensation. So you can give such footwear and you can see that there is a counter and an adjustable, if the front part should be adjustable and the insole is soft, there won't be any stitches anywhere here and uh, the insole is soft and the outer sole is quite stiff so you can't bend the footwear in your hands like you can do the Hawaii chapel. So these are the, this is a classical footwear which is used for people uh, with high risk feet who are not yet ulcerated. With these designs, we developed this footwear manufacturing unit about 10 years ago and we started making machinery. We started making people make footwear using machinery to make footwear so that we could use about this modern technology to make about 30 pairs of footwear every day. <clears throat> In the last two minutes or three minutes, I'll tell you about how we offload patients who have active foot, foot ulceration. So if you have a person like this, who's got an ulcer and sharp of foot with a collapse of the midfoot, you can see that <clears throat> special footwear, you can't give the footwear which I showed you in, in the earlier slides. You need special footwear uh, and that also we started making. Now one of the methods is what is used in leprosy. You can take a negative, you can put a POP cast, make a negative and then make a positive and make a insole made of which is called molded footwear. And this is used for people with sharp of foot. Whatever footwear you use, I think it's important they use it. So we found that people who did not follow the advice and did not use the footwear which we gave them, developed a lot of problems. And this was a publication in Diabetes Care in 2005. And they required uh, more surgical procedures if they did not follow our advice compared to those who took our footwear and followed our advice, the, the people who developed new lesions was only 5% compared to 26%. And people who required surgical procedures were only 3% compared to 14%. Now, Shako foot, as you heard from Dr. Manisha, needs a crow, soft crow restraint walker, but it's very expensive to import it from Europe or United States. So we developed our own pro device, which costs only about 1,200 rupees. And we have used it in people in the last two, or two, two decades and found very good results. I'd like to conclude with the IWGDF guidelines about which Dr. Manisha talked at length. <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to be associated with the IWGDF from 2015. And this is the 2023 offloading guidelines uh, where I was fortunate enough to be in the midst of David Armstrong, Brian Cruz, and all the others. And we are 
right now writing up the offloading guidelines for 2023, <clears throat> which will be uh, published in May 2023. Now, in the IWGDF guideline, I insisted that the ankle foot orthosis or knee high orthosis may not be available in the developing world. So what we are writing in the 2023 guideline, I'm not supposed to say it, but we are advocating the use of felted foam. Felted foam is quite useful in the developing world. It's there in most of the countries and in the low middle income countries. And if you have an answer here, you can use a felted foam to offload these ulcers and you can use felted foam and it's got a fairly good evidence of using felted foam in the low middle income countries. But people like this who have an ulcer and no infection, no peripheral artery disease, they would definitely do better with a total, total, total contact cast, non-removable cast. So we are going to we are writing up the TCC and the felted foam in the IWGDF guidelines. So I'd like to once again thank Dr. Banshi Sabu 